Hi Lifting Leaders, Kevin Benison here. Quite a few people have been asking me to explain the difference between WLL and SWL, including many experienced lifting professionals who are unsure of the definitions. Many people seem familiar with the term SWL, which is, of course, safe working load. Some are not so familiar with WLL, working load limit. I've even seen and heard it referred to as WWL on quite a few occasions, which just makes me think of World Wrestling Limit. When discussing this on training courses, I often ask candidates what they have seen lifting accessories marked with WLL or SWL. So many will insist that it's SWL, safe working load, when actually most lifting accessories tend to be rated by and marked with WLL nowadays, i.e. working load limit. In fact, the term safe working load has kind of been out of favour with manufacturers in recent years. Confusing, right? Safe working load is no longer preferred, as it could be misleading, in that it may suggest that any load within the stated weight, i.e. SWL, is safe to lift, whereas actually there are many factors other than just the load weight that could cause it to be an unsafe lift, even within the stated weight limit or rated capacity. If you've been involved with cranes for some years, you may have noticed that the crane warning and limiting systems were once called SLIs, Safe Load Indicators. Instead, they are now called RCIs, Rated Capacity Indicators. That's because they can only inform you of the maximum load weight that the crane is capable of lifting in that configuration, not if it's actually safe to lift that load with all the other factors considered. But that's for another video. Back to the point in hand. What is the difference between WLL, working load limit, and SWL, safe working load, which, as I say, is now more formally known as rated capacity? According to the Lift and Equipment Engineers Association, or LEA, the definition of working load limit is the maximum load or mass that an item of lifting equipment is designed to raise, lower or suspend. Essentially, the manufacturer will rate the lifting equipment in relation to its braking load with the necessary factor of safety in hand. For example, the minimum factor of safety of a new textile sling in accordance with European standards is 7 to 1. Therefore, a sling with a working load limit of 3 tonnes must be able to withstand a load of at least 21 tonnes before failure when new. Note: Damage may occur to the sling when subjected to any load beyond its WLL, and the factor of safety is only valid when new. All kinds of things will cause a reduction in this factor of safety, such as abrasion, cuts, knots, twists, chemicals, age, and even solar degra degradation. Easy for me to say. Textile slings are susceptible to a lot of wear and tear, and a considerable reduction in strength through various causes. Hence the need for such a big factor of safety. It saves a lot of lives when slings may be misused or perhaps poorly maintained. Also, the manufacturer can only account for anticipated methods of use of the particular lifting accessory in question and will give the working load limits in accordance with those methods. For example, a textile sling will be rated for loan use in the vertical position and in any other configurations that are shown on the tag. So, a 3 tonne webbing sling is good to lift a load of 3 tonnes in the vertical position only. To summarise that then, the working load limit, WLL, is the maximum load the accessory or equipment has been designed and rated to lift by the manufacturer. 
If you now wish to use a number of individual accessories such as slings or shackles together, you are now creating a configuration that goes outside of the manufacturer's rated methods of use for those individual accessories and a competent person will have to calculate what can be safely lifted with that arrangement or configuration of use. For example, if you're using four single leg slings or other accessories such as shackles together in an angled bridle, the safe working load or rated capacity will have to be calculated for that particular configuration or arrangement of use. Therefore, SWL, safe working load or rated capacity is the maximum load that can be lifted with a particular configuration. The same principle applies with a crane. As you change the boom length, the counterweight, the stability base, the radius, etc., the rated capacity will change accordingly. There is further information on how to calculate the maximum safe working load for lifting accessory arrangements in our Lifting Operations Pocket Assistant, available to order now from our website as well as within the training we provide and within some of our other videos. Hopefully this clears things up a bit for you. Please do leave any comments on this subject below, subscribe to our channel of course for future videos and share the content with people who may find it helpful. We'll be back with another video next week so I'll look forward to seeing you then. In the meantime, Stay safe and keep inspiring. Bye for now.